I hope you have a lovely day. So today I am filming my intro for Panda Palettes 2022 and the theme for this year is um, Size Matters. If you are interested in project planning, makeup, skincare related stuff, please consider subscribing. My name is Jenna. Welcome to my beauty world. So Size Matters, you know, we, we might have a guess what it's all about. Sometimes it matters, sometimes it doesn't matter, but in this case it matters because you have the choice to pick one of your big palettes, bulky palettes, or awkward palettes, or if they are, you know, if they match all three criteria, you just pick that palette and decide to pan it. And for this time, I actually picked one palette which I never intended to buy, to be honest with you. I will tell you why. Um, as you might know that, um, you know, Beautylish, the makeup retailer, online retailer in the US, actually from San Francisco, I think they are located in San Francisco, if I'm not mistaken. They run this event every year now, uh, you know, Lucky Bag. So I, you can buy the Lucky Bag regular one, you know, but then you can choose your shade, let's say deep, fair, medium, or you have the Lucky Bag XL, which is only sold in the US, but you still can choose, you know, um, fair, deep, medium, deep, and they also introduced because Jeffree Star is very, very popular or one of, I think, one of the top selling brands at the Beautylish uh, catalog or in the Beautylish catalog, they decided to run his, you know, lucky bag. So, for example, people could also buy the Jeffree Star lucky bag. You know, Jeffree Star lucky bag, does it ring? Does it ring something? Uh, you might have seen my video actually that I put up for Lucky Bag, what, what people don't tell you about Lucky Bag. So you just watch it and if you, you know, I will, or I think I mentioned that actually in that video as well, the story. I, you know, bought, I bought the regular Lucky Bag thinking, oh, I will get it and it will be, you know, it will be done, you know, delivered to my PO box. But what happened was I actually put in the wrong address. Uh, you know, the, and then it went to the wrong address and I contacted, you know, Beautylish customer service and told them, look, I'm sorry, I actually, you know, what is it, PayPal, I had the, still the old address in, could you please, uh, you know, check if I, if I can get that, you know, lost parcel um, to the correct address. And they said, you know what, we will investigate anyway where the parcel went, don't worry about it, but we will send you a replacement palette. So, and I was like, okay, thank you very much, a very great customer service. So they sent it then. Uh, you know, they send a replacement parcel and so on. And, um, you know, as you know, I actually asked Shipito, the locker company or the sh shipping forwarding company to s send me everything. And when I got my lucky bag or the content of the lucky bag, actually, I was surprised because I didn't expect this palette to be in it, you know, because I was thinking, okay, I will just get maybe Natasha Denona. I don't know. They had uh, several times Natasha Denona or... I don't know, Surat Beauty or I don't I, any any kind of palette, you know, Laura Mercy by Terry, I had one time. So I thought it will be one of those palettes. But to my surprise, I actually had then um, this palette in. Jeffree Star's Blue Blood palette. I mean, the idea itself is inventive, you know, to create this kind of casing or case for your eyeshadows is very inventive. Um, but for me, it's like, you know, I have every time or in most of my palettes are except the, let's say, Urban Decay Vice palettes. They are a little bit bulkier, but they are kind of flat and they don't have these, you know, these shaped up, you know, edges. Uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but, you know, they are not that, you know, shaped like this. And I can, you know, lay them on top of it if how I want to put them down or I can, you know, just put them in a different way but still they don't take up so much space but this one takes up so much space and it's not easy you know to put one palette on top of the other because you know it looks awkward so anyway so I decided to actually pan this palette for 2022 I will show you the inside maybe you have seen it already but I try not to blend you with the mirror or show you the mirror so it looks like this a lot of neutral shades blue shades, some green petrol shades and some gray shades, you know, and I thought I'm going to pan this and I checked now the, on the back of it, of the case, it says 18 uh, eyeshadows and uh, each of the pan size is 1.5 grams 
and I will try to do that you know every month I will try to pen something um, the thing is also for this project you do monthly updates and no pressure of course you know if you do monthly updates no pressure but we will see how it will work out so if you see me you know tipping the screen it was because the battery was showing me 20% battery left so anyway this is a palette that I picked because it's really bulky and I want to get rid of it and I don't have anything else which is awkwardly shaped I think you know all of them are square or you know yeah most of them are square palettes so uh, and uh, but this one is is the one who is up on the chopping block you know in that sense shopping block but you know it's up now to be used so i'm going to use this one and i hope you will enjoy actually the this project with me uh, i will see what can i how i can integrate actually it into other projects as well because i think i will also start you know the other spandles eyeshadows project again of course and other projects which will be ongoing i think so anyway, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. I see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.